Wood has always played a very vital role in human race advancement. Since the early times, wood has been used in so many diverse applications. When people first started to use wood, they soon discovered that some woods were much more durable than others, and that really was the beginning of wood science. Timber is one of those great versatile building products. People love its look, its feel. It's renewable, it can be sustainably harvested and used, it locks up carbon, and it has very low impact in terms of a full life cycle analysis. The timber industry is entering a new era. There's quite a deal of respect being shown by professional designers for the carbon storage and the sustainability of timber as a building material. And there's a number of innovations that are being stimulated by that interest. So things like cross-laminated timber is allowing us to go to 10, 12, even higher storey buildings, a range of new wood preservation techniques. They're all helping us take timber products to places that we haven't been before. The behaviour of timber in construction has long been understood, but we truly believe that with all these new products entering the market, there's a strong need for research in this area. My name is Jose Torero, I'm the Hale School of Civil Engineering at the University of Queensland, and we are absolutely delighted to be part of this new research centre. Our expertise in structural engineering, automated manufacturing and fire safety engineering, we believe can greatly contribute to the work of the centre. Hi, I'm Tim Smith. I'm Acting Director of the Forestry Research Group within the Queensland Government. The Queensland Government is excited about the formation of the new National Centre for Timber Durability and Design Life. The progression of timber durability research is exciting both for us, the researchers, but also for what we can bring to the Australian timber industry and to the world. The University of the Sunshine Coast, the University of Queensland and Queensland Department of Agriculture and Fisheries will provide a formidable alliance, providing research that meets the needs of industry and place the industry at the forefront internationally. The Australian forest product industry contributes around $8 billion to our GDP and it employs around 70,000 people. Exports from Australia value around $3 billion each year. The Salisbury Research Centre will be heavily involved in the new National Centre. We'll be looking at ways to improve the long-term performance of wood products in the built environment. To be able to ensure we've got products that will deliver the durable outcomes that our customers want, we need the backing of good science. And it's collaboration with universities like the University of the Sunshine Coast that can help deliver that good science.